Julian and Lena, we are students from Genesis High School and participants in LPB 2020. Our research in environmental science with the title Effectiveness of Absorption of Heavy Metal Sea Air Sticks in the Absorption Columns of Vapor Waste Combination and Biomass Water Hazing. Introduction. There is an area around Gading Sapong housing, especially in the Binong area. The people around Binong area always do activities such, such as washing, cooking, bathing, and even the surrounding community also dispose of garbage in the river, which cause, causes the water in the river to become polluted. And the problem here is because the polluted water contains heavy metals that can harm the survival of the community. Metals contained in polluted water as well as various types of heavy metal, but one of the harmful metals, CR6. Research methodology. The types of research used in this study are laboratory, experiments, the location of the research in Dinong, and the types of data is quantitative. As for the variables that is the dependent variable is heavy metal CR6. The independent variable is the combination of the absorbance components. The procedure. These are the step in the preparation process of step one is Scared paper. Step two, the heading process aquades. Step three, the process of mixing water hazing with the cloth NEOH with warm water. And step four, water hazing that has been filtered and cleaned with this light weather. And the last step is activate NEOH. OH water hazing powder and paper waste that has been placed in the open. This is a result and analysis. The result we have not combined to the contents in in time contents and this displayed image in the final result of material preparation. Conclusion, from the above research, it can be concluded that hyacinth and pepperweds can absorb heavy metal in the form of CR6 in polluted water. Future word, character characterization is needed to ensure the morphology of the paper. Characterization of the absorbent structure of hyacinth, waste and pepperweds before activation and after application using electron microscope or ECM scanning instrument. Thank you. Thank you.